can be classified based on their size, capabilities and geographical distance. Different types of networks provide different services. Today, we will talk about one of network types which is Metropolitan Area Network. Metropolitan Area Network is a high-speed network that connects LAN in MAN. It is quite similar with LAN which is local area network but it spans over several buildings in a city. The main characteristic of MAN is area of coverage, distance and ownership. Main characteristic of mine is number one, area of coverage. Area of coverage can connect various locations that frequently use as links between buildings. Distance mine span, which is covers distance up to 100 miles. The third one is ownership. Mine is owned by a group of users who jointly own and operate network. There is various types of mine, which is FDDI, Fiber Distributed Data Interface. Number two, ATM, Asynchronous Transfer Mode and number 3 SMDS switched multi megabit data services So now we are going to look at the advantages of mine it have six advantages which are less expensive send local emails high speed sharing internet hard security and the conversion is easy. I'm going to explain the first advantage of mine, which is less expensive. Mine gives good efficiency of data, and the data is easily managed in a centralized way. Secondly is send local emails. You can send local emails fast and free. Thirdly is high speed. Money use fiber optics, so speed can easily reach 1000 Mbps. And file and database can be transferred fast. Next is sharing the internet. In some installation of mine, user can get the same high speed of the internet. The fifth advantage of MAN is high security. MAN has high security level than one. Lastly, the conversion from LAN to MAN is easy. MAN is a faster way to connect two fast LAN together and this is due to the fast configuration of links. So let's move on to the disadvantages of mine. Here we got five, which are difficult to manage, internet speed difference, hackers attack, more wires required, and lastly is technical people required. Firstly, it is difficult to manage. Mine becomes bigger and 
some difficulty manage. This is due to a security problem and other complications. Secondly, the internet speed is different. Man cannot work on traditional phone copper wire and if it installed, then there will be a very low speed and it requires hard cost to set up fiber optics for the first time. Thirdly, is the hacker attack. We got higher chance of attacking hacker or network compared to line, so our data may be leaked. Next is more wires required in mind. Additional cables are required to connect to line. Last but not least is the technical people are required to set up mine. It requires technical people that can correctly set up mine. Example of technical people is network administrator. First, we got our club that known as internet that provide Man, which is metropolitan area network and there are four branch four total branch that are connected to each other each branch has their own infrastructure uh, that connected to each other branches uh, which means they could have redundant link between others but one one link, which is known as primary, could have uh, the stronger data, which uh, like 100 Mbps, and the secondary have lower data uh, that pro that also provide lower VPN connection between. Uh, for another example. In this example, there are uh, area A that contain router, switch and other connected devices like computer or, print, or a printer. So basically, this area are known as an office or other suitable place that are connected to other area, which is area B as an example. Area B has also a router, switch, and a device that attach to it. In this example, area A and area B could be a local connection. So, we will have this little cloud internet that known as MPLS. From that, router A will go out into MPLS. MPLS when connected will bring the connection between A and B then it got into area B finally you got a connection between the two area 